What's up my YouTube viewers? Today uh, I'm reviewing the Retron 3 from Hyperkin. Um, I've owned the system now for about a year. There's some advantages and there's some disadvantages to the system. I know they have the 5 out, the emulator, which actually does have some problems as well. So I'm going to be going through some of the issues I've noticed. First off, I'm going to start with the NES and I'm going to start with the uh, Castlevania 3. Now a lot of people told me that it didn't work on this system and I tried it and I go, what do you mean? But I didn't actually play it, so... So you can see it does have a title screen, so I'm like, what are you guys talking about? It works, the Hyperkin works on this, so... If you actually go into playing it, once you type your name in, goes to this point. Now look at the center there. See how it's all glitchy in the middle? See the middle? That's supposed to be your main character. And now it just, well, it just stops. So, yeah, so that's one issue. Castlevania 3 does not work on this Hyperkin system. Another thing. I threw in just a copy of Ninja Game, and that's a pretty common game. It's a fun game. But the audio in this completely sucks. Um, I had it in the original Nintendo, and it sounded great. Like maybe you guys could take a listen for yourself. Sounds like the audio is going up and down a lot. Especially when you're hitting enemies. Here going up and down. Now it doesn't do that on the original NES system. Other than that, it's you know, it's, it's good enough to play, but it gets irritating. I'm getting really old real bad on this game. So. You can really hear how choppy it is. Now, next game, the Sega, the Sega slot in this, you know what, I don't really have too much complaints with the actual uh, operation of the Sega part of the system. Um, it, it does look pretty good. Um, I had it in S-Video because that's what, it, that's what it has, but that's data technology. And S-Video was a lot clearer, but it was like a flashing strobe effect in the background. It, it was really clear, but just that flashing strobe was, I don't know, it was a little bit annoying. So that's the only thing I could say about that. But um, for Sega, it was actually shows pretty good. The Super Nintendo side definitely has some audio issues. Um, after playing with it for a year, um, I noticed that it, it sounds kind of distorted. Um, that's about it for that. I did play a bunch of games, and a lot of games did work on it. And The only thing that I found was in this game, Zelda, the colors are off a bit. And I'm going to show you, you hear the audio of how gross that sounds. Listen to this. It sounds muffled and distorted. See, I'm gonna show you something. Look at look at Link's hair. Look at Link's hair. Since when did he have pink hair? I'm gonna zoom in a bit on that. So other than that, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to say that the um, the Retron over here, you know what? It's it's not bad for a quick review. It's not bad for trying out some games. But if you're a serious gamer, you know what? The original systems are the way to stick with. Like, these are cool. They're a bit more of a novelty. Um, I would suggest anyone that's buying this, you know what? If you haven't played, you know, the original NES and you're young, and you haven't played the original Super Nintendo and Genesis, you might not notice a difference. But, you know, to the old school guys like us, like, I don't know. It, it, it does operate the same with the ports and everything. But look at this. Like, I got controllers all over the bloody place here. Like, I got the Sega, the six buttons. I got 
Super Nintendo. I like to call this thing the bloody octopus of systems. So, you got wires hanging all over the place. It's a great system, good for trying out games. If you never played the original NES or Super Nintendo, it's good, but there are a couple drawbacks to this system, that's for sure. Anyway, guys, like or comment below, and have a good day.